What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. Now, y'all already know my approach to this topic right here, man. It's not as if I haven't talked about this before. It's not as if I haven't touched on this before. Let's start playing games. Let's stop it with the nonsense. We going up to the Royal Rumble right now, right? We got WrestleMania up on the horizon. All the top talent right now in WWE, and quite frankly, at least in comparison, in AEW, and y'all want me to give a fuck about a Kazushika Okada? It is 2024, WWE is popping right now, and you want me to give a fuck about a Kazushika Okada? Nah, nah, that ain't gonna happen. I ain't gonna give a fuck about a Kazushika Okada, but... But y'all can do me a favor and you can tell me why you give a fuck about a Kazushika Okada. Now, let me kind of set the groundwork for you guys real quick as to why I don't give a fuck about a Kazushika Okada. And quite frankly, why I don't give a shit about any of these international talents at the end of the day. One, they're all the fucking same. Whether we're talking about the Asian market or whether we're talking about the Latino market, if you will. It's all the same at the end of the day. A bunch of jabronis coming into wrestling that they have no clue as far as how it usually operates in this sphere. And they usually can't comprehend how we usually get down over here. It takes years. And even then, they still don't get it half the fucking time. Like, you need charisma. People are like, oh, well, Kazushiko kind of has charisma. No, 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 no. Not that nerd charisma. He ain't got that. He has that nerd res. He has that. He has that new Japan pro wrestling res. He got that Redditor. No, no, no. I'm not talking that Redditor res. Mm -mm -mm. I'm talking about that superstar res, bro. Him coming into WWE or him going into AEW, which, quite frankly, I guess AEW is a better fit. But let's just bring them into context also, considering that they're a mainstream market within, you know, America. With the, within the American market, if you will. When he comes here, what is he going to do that's any different than, say, a Shinsuke Nakamura? Like, what is he going to do, huh? Or if he goes to AEW, for an example, what is he going to do that's any different from, say, um, I don't know, a Penta El Zero, let like, go of my ego? Like, what is he going to do that's any different? Hmm? What kind of promos is Kazushiko Okada going to cut? Huh? Is he going to get on the microphone? You are Yagas! Banzai! Like, what, what the fuck are we doing here, bro? Like, uh, like no, I, I don't care. I don't want to see that kind of talent in professional wrestling in 2024 unless they're going to be doing some jobs at the end of the day. Like, can you tell me what's so special about Kazushiko Okada? Like, really, I'm curious. What's so special is because he puts on a million and one five-star classes in Japan? Then go continue doing that in Japan. What is the merit of bringing him in WWE currently at the moment to do what? To do what? I need a reason to give a fuck about watching you wrestle in the ring. And if I don't have that reason, why should I give a fuck? I don't. I simply don't. But it's even a little, but here's my thing. Here's my thing. I think for most people, if you have, say, uh, favoritism, if you will, because I do, I do. I have my certain, certain, uh, irks about me. I want to say irks. Let me take that back. Um, my certain, um, what's the word I'm looking for right now at the moment? Guilty pleasures, if you will, about professional wrestling that I feel some people don't really care for. Like, I like technical wrestling. The aspect of technical wrestling. Not like, you know, going out there if you're a Kazushika Okada getting beaten up and then pretending you're Goku turning Super Saiyan J3 and, you know, I kick out at one every fucking move you do. No cell power. Like, no, I don't give a shit about that. Strong style is stupid. Strong style is lame. But actual competitive actual technical wrestling i'm talking about bret hart i'm talking about chris benoit i'm talking about kurt engel that kind of shit and even the british strong style stuff i kind of dig a little tiny bit I, I i like that that's cool there's an element of sportsmanship that surrounds that that i fucking love 
And I can understand people who don't care about it because it could be a tad bit boring. I understand. I get it. It's, it could be a bit of a, of a, of a chess match because it's a groundwork. I, but I like it personally because, again, it just adds a bit of legitimacy to it. And it doesn't just insult your intelligence, in my opinion, compared to lame-ass, strong-style, standard Japanese Goku Super Saiyan 3. I'm impervious to all kinds of pains. I'm Gohan, and I'm about to go into the Cell Saga. And Cell just, he just made me angry. So every time he attacks me, I'm just going to bulk up and completely own him. Until something convenient comes around, and now I have to actually, you know, weaken myself, and then I still win when it's all said and done. No, it's lame, bro. It's fucking lame. But like I said, if there's an element of people who like, or a contingent of people who believe that element of wrestling, you know, you you, you dig. Okay, cool. More power to you at the end of the day. It's, just, it's subjective at the end of the day, obviously. But the thing that gets me the most is it's not usually these people. I mean, some of them actually kind of, you know, kind of make their way into the crowd and then they get all butthurt when you shit on their opinion. But it's the people, it's the contingent of the audience that actually want to gaslight you and tell you that this is something worthwhile to see. Like, no, it's not something worthwhile to see. It, it really, really isn't. Me seeing fucking Kazushika Okada, can you tell me the difference between seeing that and a Shinsuke Nakamura? In terms of, like, where you know this is heading in the end of the day. And if he goes to AEW, okay, and when I... See, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's a double-edged sword. If he goes to WWE... He's going to be a fucking nobody in the end of the day because he's boring and uh, he's not going to do anything to the ratings. I know people hate when I say that. People hate when you go towards that metric right there because you really can't go out of your way to dispute it and you hate it. And this is your way of saying, well, Devontae, not everybody cares about the matches. I just care about what I want to see. Well, guess what? I care about what I want to see also. And this is what I have to use in order to combat your dumbass narrative. Then that's what I'm going to do. So like I was saying, he's not going to do well in the ratings. He's not going to do well in viewership numbers. He's not going to connect to any of the audience because no one gives a fuck about Kazushiko Okada and no one knows who the fuck that he is, right? So you know what's going to happen at the end of the day? He's going to come in prior to the Royal Rumble or he's going to probably come in regular, maybe the night after WrestleMania, who knows? He's going to get inserted into a feud, right? Right, A high-profile feud, most likely. He's going to bore the shit out of everybody because I guarantee you, for even the match marks out there, he's an American now and I guarantee you it's not going to translate well into American wrestling unless he's going to wrestle on against Shinsuke Nakamura and I guarantee you that match will still be boring also. And this is going to go on for a few months that we're going to pretend that he's oh so great. Just like Kenny Omega, just like Shinsuke Nakamura. We're going to pretend that he's oh so great because of the legendary matches he had in fucking Asia. Okay, cool. We're going to pretend that. We're going to pretend that. And then as the months start going, they turn into years. And when the years start turning, they turn into decades. God almighty, God will it has turned into decades. But my point being this is going to get to a point where his position is going to plateau. And he's going to turn into a Shinsuke Nakamura. And when he turns into a Shinsuke Nakamura, he's going to do Shinsuke Nakamura type of things, such as low blows, because he needs to turn heel all of a sudden, because this is the way we have to get people over nowadays, is turning them heel, because we got we got star don't know how to do it during the babyface phase. Our way of trying to get people over via babyface ways is putting them in matches and pretending as if their legacy from fucking Japan is going to translate well over to American television. No, that's that's not going to work out all too well, unfortunately. I've seen this story a million and one times play out, and unfortunately, it always plays out the same. But, but I want to go a little bit deeper into this. Because it's one thing to have, again, your favoritism. It's one thing to believe, well, you know, gosh darn it, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me the thousandth time my brain has cancer. It, it, it's one thing to actually believe that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But why do you have to project all this onto others as if we have to give a fuck about your bullshit failures? When in regards to like how you view professional wrestling, we have to actually give a shit about your both bull your bullshit failures. When in reality, he could just stay in Japan and just do his thing in Japan, and then you could do your thing as far as how you view him. Because it's not like we live in fucking 1983. You have to tape trade in order to see a Kazushika Okada. No, you can jump on your phone, jump on YouTube, go jump somewhere from New Japan Pro Wrestling website and go watch him there. Why does he have to come to America? Because you're going to ruin him. You're going to ruin yourself, honestly, because you're going to keep trying to be in denial and tell us that, well, he's actually a good thing currently right now. And then you're going to deflect and try to rely on his legacy as far as and as far as comparing him to other wrestlers, even though, you know, in reality, it's, it's a fucking defeated logic. This happened with Shinsuke Nakamura. You guys see no happen. He's so much better than Woman Ways. He's so much better than all the other men that we left the love. And then he comes in here and he's some of the by far one of the most disappointing fucking international stars 
stars from a name perspective we've seen in the past decade. Like, like at least I could see. I mean, I disagree with someone like a Will Osprey also, but I could see Will Osprey. For one, he speaks English, so that right there already has him already a foot ahead of everybody else in terms of the international market. But I could see a Will Osprey. He he speaks English. You know, there's a way for him to at least establish a character. You know, there's a there's you look at him and you say to yourself, okay, I can see him mixing it up with certain superstars and them turn out to be very, very good matches. Although the matches shouldn't be, again, the end all be all, you can see it. I look at someone like Kazushika Okada and I look at all the international talent in the world that people like to gaslight you on and tell you like, well, I mean, he's so awesome. What you need to go do, you need to go check out these AAA wrestlers who can't speak a look of goddamn English who nine times out of ten jumped over the border to get over here without any of their green passports. No, 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 no green cards, no passports. This is their way of trying to get into the country. Then they're going to quit the promotion and then try to run wild into their actual welfare system. Yeah, that's me being an asshole right now. But it's true though. Some of not not really. It's not true. I mean, unless you're not a wrestler. If you're a real wrestler, that's not true. A civilian, probably. My point being is, though, no, none of these things actually matter. Kashiko cuts boring. And you trying to project him on me, or you trying to project him on the rest of the world because of what you've seen in your time watching New Japan Pokemon Online, it's not going to work out. It's 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 not going to work out. You know what? I'll say this. Maybe Kashiko, maybe Kashiko kind of can't work out. But how about this? He's willing to concede everything that made him special in Japan because when he comes to America, everything that made him special in Japan is not going to translate well over here. People, I remember I heard, who was it? I forgot who I heard say this. Uh, oh man, guys, when that coin flip hits, he's going to get a massive motherfucking pop. Oh God, he's going to... He's gonna get a pop unlike the unlike what you've ever heard. I mean, you heard Austin's pop in 1989. Oh boy, fuckle in your seatbelts, cause this motherfucker right here, he's gonna explode. Fireworks all up your fucking ass, and it's gonna be fucking amazing. And then he's gonna have a promo battle with CM Punk, and that promo battle is gonna go something like this: Who the fuck are you, my guy? I am your enemy. Japanese gibberish. And then the guy has to sit there and pretend as if he's actually angry because that guy said something that was offensive when in reality he said not a goddamn thing that's offensive. Look, we can make this something right now. Kazushiko Okada needs a team with Akira Tozawa. That's what we need. We need we need Kazushiko Okada, we need Akira Tozawa, and we need Shinsuke Nakamura, and then we need Asuka, we need Kairi Sane, we need Io Shirai, and they need to have a they need to have an Asian invasion. That's what we need, an Asian invasion. If you have no eyes like me, you mean nothing to society. Bro, we need to do it right now, bro. I'm telling you, that's the only way we're going to resurface. And then, you know, Kashiko Okada can be the leader of this um, Asian persuasion invasion. I'm telling you, bro, that's the only way this is going to work out. Because then, at the very least, we have something that's established. We have something, at the very least, we can connect with. Because of Pearl Harbor, I still harbor horrible feelings over what Japan did to us. I know I wasn't born at the time. I know this fine, sexy-ass body wasn't around for another 50 years. But I harbor ill feelings towards what happened during Pearl Harbor. And you know what? I feel as if every goddamn red-blooded American feels the exact same way. So we're going to get the Kill Bill Trio over here to team up with the Kill Bill Trio women version. And we're going to fucking do this motherfucking thing. We're going to have dance sex parties. We're going to get some, some sushi. It's going to be fucking awesome. But on the real though, as if I wasn't being real right there. Kazushiko Okada going to AEW, I guess, is a better fit in the end of the day. Coolio, that's fine. I don't give a shit about it anyways, because it's AEW. I'm more so talking about him, if anything, coming to WWE. I mean, I'm talking about AEW too, but more so WWE. I don't give a fuck. I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of wrestling fans who, you know, have a fucking pulse, don't give a fuck. That 0.1% lies in the comment section somewhere on Reddit. Maybe somewhere on YouTube, maybe somewhere in the comment sessions and uh, I don't know, Twitter. But I can tell you that the majority of wrestling fans who have a post who have actual families and lives and actually want to see entertainment value within their product. We don't give a shit. You have not given us a reason to give a shit, Kazushiko Akadi. I don't give a shit. What the fuck is a Kazushika Okada? But 
I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll tell you this much. The comment section is down below. You can sit there and you can get on your keyboard so you can be like, Devontae, you little bitch. Nah, I'm cool with that. Not the first time I heard that. Probably not the last time I heard that. But instead of actually spinning, spinning some of your venom, spinning some of your hot fire ad hominems at me, you can actually try to convince me. You could be a politician. You could play the role of Joe Biden. Just, you know, be coherent about it and try to tell me all the good things about Kazushiko Okedi and why I should care about Kazushiko Okedi. You can let me know. Tell me. Devante, look at his rain. Make ah. Did you hear the coin flip in his entrance song? Maybe you didn't realize, Devante, but he's had the most five star, seven star, nine star matches in the motherfucking world. That, that's that's why I should give a fuck. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's a nice foundation. I mean, it. it I would definitely say that you're living in fairy tale land, but you know what? That's fine. If you think you're going to convince me in that minute, you're not. But I'll, I'll tell you what. Tip: Don't do any of those things. Give me a real reason. Give me a dream match belt that can probably, you know, I don't know, uh, accentuate some character development that would get me to want to, you know, invest my time into. Maybe I don't know. Try to tell me some things that happened in Japan that can translate over to America that you know for if that would be. Would, would get pretty over pretty well with the American artist. Uh, essentially, if you're going to make an argument about Kazushika Okada and it's not within the perspective of my opinion, then, you know, if you want to sell me on it, go for it. But from what I'm seeing right now, I just see another Japanese wrestler who's going to come inside America and he's going to do evil Japanese things with his evil green, blue, red, yellow, purple mist that means absolutely got them nothing to anybody. Should mean something, but it doesn't mean something because America, fuck yeah! As always, my name is Devontae and uh, this should be a very, very fun comment session. I hope I didn't offend anybody. <laughs> Psych! Biatch! Deuces and a motherfucking P.I.S. Kyle Shiko kind of sucks. Dick!